hello friend and welcome to a new video on the git series so in today's video i'm going to tell you how to use the git command uh, cloning push pull commit yeah so let's begin then okay so this was uh, my earlier project which i created so it has some folder and some file so let me show you how to use various command. Uh, so first of all, I'm going to show you how to clone this repository to your local uh, uh, computer. So cloning means uh, you are making a copy of uh, or the replica of the remote uh, remote uh, repository uh, to your local uh, folder. So what I'm going to do. So first of all, I will copy the, the repository path. So from here, you can click this clone button and it will give you two options either ssh or the https so i'm using https example for this video you can use any one of them so just click on this button so it will copy the url of this repository now go back to your machine and you create a, a blank folder for 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 this taking this example so i'm already having the project so what i'm going to do i will first remove this project and now I'm having one blank folder and in this blank folder what I'm going to do I will use the git bus so I will just right click and open the git bus if you don't have the git bus you can download for you because this git bus command uh, you will use for this git commands so this is my uh, git bus and the current directory is the blank directory that I have and here I will check out and I will uh, clone my uh, repository so the command is git clone and the repository path the url and enter so side by side you can see it is downloading with the exact structure and now it's done so just check on this folder what are the contents so one file is there one folder and under that folder and the subfolder we have one file so let me open this file and check what is written inside okay so it is written hello india so what i'm going to tell so this was the cloning so i have the copy of my remote repository so what normally we do right we work with the project we work with the code uh, we do some modification so we add remove delete uh, or create a new file so these all uh, activity that normally do so what i'm going to do first of all so i will i will change this file and the content of this file first so let's right click i'm just opening in editor and i'm adding one more line into it test file so i have added this file and now close this so now i have modified this file similarly i can do more modification to other folder or file right so now these all changes changes happen on my local repository not on the remote one so so if I want like what are the files that was modified, some changes happened on my local repository. So you can use uh, various commands. So I have a list of command that I will also put in a comment. So this first command that I used the cloning. So the git clone and the clone repository. And after that, to see the difference of the file. So what, what the file has been modified. So this is the command git diff and with the name and the starter so this is what an option it will i will pass so if you can use this command on my good command line so now it is giving some error and if you can read the message from the beginning what this error is so it is showing not a git repository so what happened exactly i am at present at the root directory you can see i am at the git lab folder so this is not my repository 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 is created under that so the, my repository is this this folder is the repository so i have i have to keep my command line inside this folder so what i will do first so i will first make change the directory from here to the repository cd test so this command will change the directory to the repository now you can see i am under the repository it is showing uh, i am at the main branch okay so i am let me clear the prompt so now i am inside the repository and again i will use the diff command so now make enter so it is showing there's one file 
test.java is modified you can see m is written that means i did some modification so i wanted to upload i wanted to push these changes commit the changes on my remote server on the on my remote repository so what is the command okay so first of all i will write a command git add and a dot so i i am trying to do, do like i am just making all the files which were created or modified in inside my repository to i wanted to add those to the remote repository so this is the command so this will just mark those file okay this file has to be updated till now no update happened on the server second thing now i have to put uh, some comment while uploading the files we call it as a commit so committing now i am i'm going to commit the file that means i'm actually doing uh, going to add the content the modification to the repository but still on the local so i will use git commit and hyphen m is like i am passing some message also so whenever we do some commit uh, to the remote server so always we should use some comment so this comment will help us in future to understand what kind of changes uh, that there was actually so it it helps to the developer to know the changes so put some descriptive comment which can help you or maybe some other colleague who can work on this who, who is going to work on this uh, repository so like my comment for youtube so this is my comment now here what uh, what i can see it is showing one file change and two insertion so there are some changes happen uh, on the on one file so i have added some content in this, uh, to this file so till now this commit happened on my local repository so now all this commit which i did in my local repository i wanted to push to the server so it's very simple use a git and push and wait for some time so now the push is co completed and now push means what it is uploaded to the default remote repository so now go back on my gitlab repository on web and see if i can see the changes so let me refresh this page so here you can see first of all the latest commit uh, details so this is the recent commit happened this is the com comment that we put the user who did the commit and the time okay now i i change one content of one file so let go inside the folder and this file okay you can see this file also having one comment commit uh, statement so open this file to read the content now you can see there are two lines earlier it was hello india now you can see this test file also so this file was modified from my local computer and now it is there on the remote server remote repository yeah so let's go back on and see the command list so this diff was just to see what were the file change happened now there is another command that i can show you this is called a git pull so git pull is used whenever we wanted to update my local repository with all the changes happen on the remote repository so suppose multiple persons are working on the same repository so someone has did some changes uh, from his machine some commit has been done from the another machine so i wanted those changes uh, from the remote repository so if i did a fresh clone so it will give me the current code but suppose i did clone some time back and today i wanted that to to download all the new changes happen on the remote so i will use this git pull command so if i use a git pull like this git pull so it will download all the changes happen on the repo, remote repository so it is showing already up to date because there is no changes happen on the remote repository which is not there with me so there is no change happen okay so that was the git pull yeah okay now to upload the changes are from my local to the server so i did first of all git add and dot and then i put a good comment so like git commit and my comment and then i did a simply git push so these are the some command i will put this command into the comment section on the description box also 
you can refer that command so this was all about uh, the very basic operation on, on git which is uh, cloning of the git uh, repository then adding the file to the repository which is used through the add command and through the commit command and pushing uh, the changes to the remote repository so i hope uh, you will able to uh, uh, make this command at your end so please do try and let me know uh, if you face any challenges right or you have if you have some query please put your questions uh, in the comment box and i will try to reply back okay so thanks a lot.